Administrative controls relates largely to the policies, procedures, or any guidelines that defines, or I would say that rather that helps personal or business practice in accordance with security goals, right? So say my security goal, say my security goal is to have, have a robust, I wouldn't say good, I would say robust security practices security practices aligning with aligning with uh, industry cyber standards right industry cyber standards like your either isos or you know nist csf or nist 853 those sort of stuff right if we if my goal is this then i really need to have a you know a proper defined policies procedures and guidelines along with working with the technical controls and some of the other physical controls right so we really need to have that on the contrary side say that i really don't hold any um, i don't really hold any specific data or i don't really hold any pii's or phi's I'm, I'm just a mediator i do hold staff data obviously but i don't really hold other than that right and if my security goal as a firm is to have a good practice right a good practice or a good security hygiene right a good security hygiene then even if you're following any of even if you're following any of these requirements right then in that sense you could you could have some leniency in that you could really have some leniency in that but do remember at the same time we have to meet the we have to meet the local and global regulatory requirements regulatory and legal requirements obligations let's just say obligations right this is non-negotiable we have to meet this right if you're working in if you're operating into a much more regulated in uh, regulated industry than than others like your bfsis or say military or any of the government um, government entities right which is highly regulated in every sort right so in that case you really have to meet this and you don't really have an option to uh define your goal as a good practice a good security hygiene you'll have to go for the robust practices so it's really important to understand what exactly is your security goals as a firm right and based on that you could start off with the administrative uh, um, administrative uh, controls including your policies and procedures and guidelines and then you can start implementing those controls across the organization and make sure that the respective team are aware of it and they are properly trained this is really important too because if they are not trained and they are not aware your security controls will not be operating effectively because they are the ones who would actually be operating on a day-to-day -day basis and they are the ones who are responsible and owning those security controls right so one of the examples of administrative control is your onboarding process right so you may be instructed to review and acknowledge the security policy of the organization if you're joining newly to any firm right and by acknowledging that you would you have said that you and you do acknowledge that you have read all the policies and procedures as a new hire and if you are not adhering to the policy the corporate policy of the organization you would be held accountable so every organization would have this uh, you know as a baseline and this is something which is really important because you know at a later stage if something goes south right and if, if an employee is really has done something horrible and horrendous right and they should be held accountable for but then you don't really you do, you can't really prove that you you know you have made the employee aware of the corporate policies and the procedures obviously based on the on their roles and responsibilities you really can't do anything about it from a legal perspective right unless unless it's a violation at a at a legal at a legal level or you know regulatory level you can't really do anything about it so it's really important from a firm's perspective to make sure that you make aware employees of the relevant policies and the procedures and you make them read and even if the even if you know you don't have that granular level of detail or, or control over employees readability of the policies you just make them aware and let them know that you have to read before you acknowledge because once you acknowledge you would be held accountable for anything that goes south right and that's the written communication from the from the employees that they have read the policies and whatnot there's another part to it whenever there's a change in the policy whenever there's a change in the policy 
right policy or the process let's, let's just say process right even this should be notified to all the stakeholders to all the stakeholders and this is something that i stumbled upon with one of my clients wherein there was a major change in their third party third party policy right third party privacy policy privacy policy but then they didn't really they didn't really notified they didn't really notify the the suppliers right so if there's a if there's a policy change please be make sure please make sure that you are you are uh, communicating to all the relevant stakeholders be it internal stakeholders be it external stakeholders or be it anyone right so someone who is actually working on it they should be aware of the change in the policies so that's pretty much on the administrative control